they didn't betray us yet, says stranded Afghan ally with enduring hope of US rescue he has been stranded in the northern city of Mazar-i Sharif along with hundreds of other Afghans. All have worked closely with US federal agencies and the US military over the past decade and more. Most, like Wakel, either hold special immigrant visas or were in the process of obtaining them when the Taliban overran Kabul. I received a message from my former supervisor to go to Mazar i Sharif and that we would be taken to Doha from there he said. Now Wakel feels forgotten and in danger. Point two decades of loyalty definitely I will be killed by them. I don't want to stay here because I'm in a very big risk. At heartbreaking price. But several U.S. senators have been fiercely critical of the State Department's handling of the situation. Senator Richard Blumenthal, a Democrat, tweeted on September 6, My staff and I have worked night and day to secure the safe passage of two planes waiting in Mazo i Sharif to take American citizens, at risk Afghan allies, and their families to safety. I have been deeply frustrated, even furious. At our government's delay and inaction Blumenthal said. Wakel says that while he himself clings to hope, his family feel they've been abandoned. I hope and I dream but for the family for my wife it's difficult for them. I cannot convince them that we will be living in the United States. They are asking me, no they left you. They left you behind. But even if he escapes Mazar i Sharif with his wife and three young daughters, he must still pay a heartbreaking price for being a friend to America. His mother cannot come with them as she is sick and still in Kabul. She's alone there. I don't have anyone to support her. Everyone just. I am crying. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.